Should your brand, your organization, its leadership be commenting on or jumping in on the issue of race? The answer is yes. The reason why? Silence is being complicit. If you do not speak up or say anything, it becomes the loudest message of them all. It shows a sense of apathy, which is the most tone deaf response that any brand can give today. But I understand you're wondering what can I say to not get into hot water? I gave a presentation this morning about reputation management. It was online and I was watching a lot of the questions come at me during the presentation. And a lot of people wanted to know how to respond or they had leadership that didn't want to respond because they were, they were worried that they would be offending their customer base. Something to think about. When you respond about the issue of race, you are telling your customers, you're telling everyone, all your stakeholders about your culture, the culture within your organization. You are speaking to your employees as well. You're speaking to your community. You're speaking with social media, frankly, to everyone. If you want to be a successful business, you need to be a good business. And that means you need to have good business practices that include good business policy as it relates to human interaction, human behavior, and the greater good of an organization. In June of 2020, now is the time to look at all of your policies, your employee policies, your bias training policies, your HR, your social media policies, how your employees can use it and how you use it as an organization. If you do respond, how do you respond? Well, we saw a lot of people respond with a black square on social media. Some just had the black square. Some had a black square and a statement about being in solidarity uh, with black people, with being allies uh, to blacks in, in America right now. That's all fine and good, but it's, it's not as simple as telling your youngest staff member to go to Canva and whip something up with a black background and white font. Being an ally is fine, but you need to do more. Black people want to see action. I know what you're thinking. I'm not black. I'm not. I'm from Minnesota. I'm from the Twin Cities. Heck, I was crowned Miss Shamrock in St. Paul. Doesn't get any whiter than that. But being from the Twin Cities, being from St. Paul, Minnesota, and having family back there, I felt it. And I felt it in a, in a different way than maybe other people did. I saw the destructions. I saw the riots. I saw the protests. But I understood and I've learned how I've grown up is much, much different than how I feel right now. And that leads me to this. One of the objections I heard about speaking out is offending your base. When you are trying to search for an answer of what you should do, don't look back at your older customers, your traditionalists, your baby boomers, your Gen Xers. Look forward, look to your millennials, look to your Gen Z. Those are the generations that are holding brands to a higher level. They're holding them more accountable to have a social standard of doing good. If you have to set a moral compass, set it by those groups, because overall they're growing up in a time in a generation of inclusivity. That's why we need to listen and watch them a little bit harder. It doesn't mean to dismiss everyone else. But it's recognizing that your baby boomers, your traditionalists, they grew up in the 60s. They could be imprinted from a time in the 60s of racial tension from the 60s. We can use it, certainly, but connect that with what Gen Z and millennials, what they are witnessing right now, what happened to George Floyd and everyone else at the unjust violence at the hands of the police. All of these black Americans, many of them black men, it's a different experience than it was back in the 60s. So we wanna to listen to everyone. Follow your customers, listen to what they're saying. Follow the stakeholders, look around, see what other people are doing. But where you should look the most is right here. What is your heart telling you? What is your gut telling you? What is your brain telling you to do? If it's telling you you shouldn't do anything, then stop listening to yourself and listen to someone who will tell you otherwise. 
that change is has happened that needs to happen in 2020, we're never going back. We're never going back. Now's the time to respond. Remember, silence is the loudest response of them all. And it's not the response that you want people to hear or see, especially on social media. I'm launching a new project that's coming out in the next few weeks, the response kit. If you want more information like this, log on to responsekit.com, sign up now. We are going to be releasing a kit that is going to help business owners, leaders, communicators communicate in this day and age. People need to hear from you. And you may not know what that right response is or what at the right time, but the response kit, well, it's going to help you craft and deliver the right message for the right time for your stakeholders. So sign up today. I hope to see you there soon. And I hope this video helped.